how's it going everyone in this video i'm going to be building my uh 205 cc grom engine um so i'm going to get started i'll show you guys some of the parts that i got here um i already took everything apart i got the bare cases and i'm going to just show you guys what i have to do and what i'm doing right now for it so um i already bored the cases out i had to board the case out right here on both sides to make the new cylinder fit. Uh, this is a new 64 millimeter cylinder. Um, they do sell 64 millimeter cylinders that you don't have to board the case out, but they are really thin and they end up cracking on the sleeve. Um, I got a really thick sleeve. As you can see, it's almost four, it's four millimeters thick basically. Um, if I wanted to, I can bore this out and be bigger and still be safe. But right now it's going to be a 64 millimeter piston. It's a custom piston cut for the four valve. And then it's basically a COSO four valve head. Um, it just got bigger valves in it. It's been ported, CNC ported. Um, and polished on the exhaust, so... Um, I also have a stroker crank for it that I got. It's a plus three millimeter stroker with a bigger rod, a stronger reinforced rod. I'm gonna put that in right now. I have it like in the freezer because I freeze it before I put it in so that way it just slides right in once you go to put the motor in but or put it onto the motor. And I also have another transmission that i'm going to change this is a four speed that originally was in here i have a five speed that i'm putting in so it's going to be five gears instead of four now also um i'm going to get the crank i'm going to put the crank into the case and then do the transmission and i'll show you guys once i have the crank and the transmission in here so you guys can see the crank and the five speed transmission that i got all right so i got the new crank in i also got the transmission installed the new five speed transmission um the kit comes with literally everything you need you just gotta put the arms in the right position and that's it um the crank this is the crank so it's a longer rod reinforced rod it's a three millimeter stroker it's balanced already for the stroker so it's so basically all ready to put back together. I'm just gonna put some RTV around here and close the bottom end up. And then we'll start doing the the top end, put the piston in. I'll show you guys the flanges that I had to get and stuff to space it out for this stroker. So I'm gonna put the bottom end together and I'll show you guys the top end. All right, so I got the bottom end all closed up and I have the piston and the cylinder ready to install. I put the rings in. I did the rings gaps already. Um, so I'm gonna just show you guys real quick how it goes. Um, since it's a stroker crank and you get more rotation, this comes out farther and this rod is longer. Um, you need to move the cylinder up in order to fit the head on or else the piston would just smack the top of the head. So we need two spacers. And to make this work, we need longer dowels to line everything up and we're going to need three gaskets um since there's two plates and the cylinder we need a gasket for each basically so we'd start with one gasket put a plate on another gasket a plate again and then another gasket and then the cylinder um basically is just going to space it out so that we can clear the piston i'll show you guys once it's installed and how far the piston sticks up but it's basically sticking up it's as much as the stock height um you can change it a little bit um and get more compression more or less if you want depending on how you move it up or down but the way it is right now is basically going to be the perfect compression that i want and that's that's how it's going to be so um i want to put this piston on and the cylinder on and i'll show you guys once it's on all right so i got done with the bottom end i got it all closed up i went ahead and i installed the oil spinner the clutch the starter uh, i did some test fitting with the piston and the cylinder and stuff with the spacers that i need uh, so i'm gonna show you guys how it's gonna work um, for the longer crank i need the spacers 
So I need the gasket here to, it's also going to space it out a little bit. I have this one spacer and then another gasket for it. Everything's going to seal and it makes it the correct height for the piston to be installed. Uh, I already went ahead and did the piston ring gaps on the piston. So I'm going to install the cylinder and piston and I'm going to put the head on, but I'll show you guys once the piston's on right before I put the head on so you guys can see it all installed. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now and I'll show you guys once I'm going to put the head on. All right, so I got the piston, the cylinder, the gaskets installed. So now I'm going to go ahead and put the head on it and I'll show you guys once I have the head on and everything. And I'm getting ready to do the timing, the cam and all that stuff. All right, so to finish it all off and finish putting the head on, I need that little gear that goes in there um that one there now i got everything brand new for this motor like all the bolts all the gaskets all the seals uh new oil pump this is a high flow oil pump um timing chain tensioner the with the bearing everything so um i'm gonna put the head on put those little things on and i'll show you guys once i'm gonna do the oil pump and all the other stuff all right, so I got it all finished up. I did the timing, I degreed the cam. Um, I installed the manual tensioner. Uh, so I could set the chain myself, set how tight it is. Um, I went ahead and installed the flywheel, did the gear for the starter. Um, everything on this side already is installed. The clutch, the oil spinner, the high flow oil pump. Um, so I already adjusted the valve lash, so I'm just going to close it all up, put the stator cover on, the clutch cover on, the cam cover, the valve covers on. Uh, I have the COSO 32 millimeter intake I'm going to use on it. So um, I'm going to install this motor on this new Grom that I'm building. Um, I already got some new wheels, some new rear sets, uh, extended swing arm. Um, I got like street bike handlebar mount stuff. I'm going to lower it. So I'm going to get the things to make it sit nicer right here. Um, I got brake upgrade that's coming. Um, but this motor is really only going to be in here for like a week. I'm only doing it just to test it out and see how all this works um i'm either gonna just sell this motor or just keep it as a spare because i got a whole different one i'm building it's gonna be a way better a different beast than this one uh this one's only a 205 the one i'm gonna be building is gonna be a really bigger one so um i'll show you guys that in a later video i'm gonna be getting all the parts here soon so should be pretty sick i got like cnc block cnc head um well cylinder and everything's custom on it so it's gonna be a sick motor i'll show you guys the build on that one also but so i'm gonna just finish it all off and then once it's ready i'm gonna install it on the bike and i'll show you guys all that and once i start it i'll get it running and show you guys that so uh it's basically ready so i'm gonna just finish it off like i said and i'll show you guys that all right so i got it all closed up the motor is all ready to go i'm gonna put it on the bike now I'm just going to install it onto the frame and get it started. So I'll show you guys once I have it installed. All right. So I got the motor installed. I got it all wired up and ready to start it up. Uh, I already loaded a tune on the ECU. I'm going to get a different one because I have the Mini X and this one's kind of limited. Um, I just stole it off of this one so I could get this one running. But once I get the good one for this one, then I'll tune it again. But um yeah for right now i'm just gonna get it started um show you guys that i already have it basically all ready to go uh, i did a button right here because i took the throttle the oem throttle and put this one on and i didn't have a way to start it so i just made a switch so all you gotta do is just turn the ignition on and press this
so that's the grom on um, the new build um thank you guys for watching if you guys like the video stay tuned for my next ones i'm gonna build a whole different motor and i'll show you guys all that it's gonna be a sick one